This video is going to show you how to write word names for numbers like this, numbers that are a little larger. These can be tricky and confusing, so I wanted to give you a few strategies to kind of break it down. The first thing we need to know is what does a place value chart look like? So I went ahead and I'm showing you one here, and you can see that every single digit has a specific name. So let's take the number, let's take this number right here. And when I think about how to write the word name for this, I want to start with these last two numbers here. And I know that this number is 25. Just a little side note, you always want to hyphenate numbers that are between, that start with 21 and go up to 99. So 21, 22, 23, and so on, all the way up to 99, those are always going to be hyphenated. I'm going to make myself a note. You can see that I went ahead and added my hyphen here so that I'm ready to go. Now, next thing I want to do is I want, I know that this is my hundreds chunk, right? I'm going to call it a chunk because I feel like that gives me a way to um, sort of talk about these numbers here. So this is my hundreds chunk. And I know that this digit right here, the digit of one or the number one, tells me that I have one hundred. It tells me how much of that hundreds chunk I have. So my final answer is going to be one hundred twenty-five. Notice that I don't have any commas because I have no commas in my number. Okay, now that I know how to read my hundreds chunk, let's go back to our larger number here. So my first step is I want to start with my hundreds chunk over here. So again, I'm going to use the same process. I'm going to go to the last two digits and I can see that I have the number 50. So let's start by writing that. Next, let's look at what, how many hundreds do I have? So I can see that I have a three. So that is, tells me that I have 300. So I'm gonna go ahead and write that. Next, I need to look at my next chunk here. Now, notice that I have a comma. I'm gonna put that in my answer right now so that I don't forget about it. This chunk right here is called the thousands chunk. I know that no matter what, when I read this number, so just like I read this number as 350, I'm gonna read this number the same way, but I know that I'm gonna have to put the word thousand after it because it's the thousands chunk. So again, I see I have a 67, so let me go ahead and first add my thousand. Okay, so there's my thousand label. I know I've got a 67 here. Now remember, I'm putting that hyphen in because again, I'm between the numbers 21 and 99. So next, I'm gonna look at this number right here. And again, I'm forgetting for a minute that this is a thousands chunk because I just need to read these three digits. So four, six, seven. So I know that I have 67 here. This is 467. So I'm gonna go ahead and add on that 467. Okay, so when I'm all done with this, you can see that I have 467,000 with my comma, 350. And that would be how I would write the word name for this number right here. Let me make that a little prettier so you can see my finished product. Again, I have 467,350. Let's try one that ends in the millions. So this number is a lot larger, and we've got this zero here, which could be a little tricky. So again, let's follow the same steps. I want to start with my um, hundreds chunk here and just pretend that that's all by itself. So again, I start with the last two digits, and that would be the number 20. And I know that I have 220, so I'm going to write that first. Now I also know that I've got a comma here, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in so I don't forget. Next, let's go to our thousands chunk here. So again, I look at these last two digits and I see that I really only have the number four. And I know that I I'm going to read this as 304. Now remember, we do not use the word and when we're reading for this zero, unless we're talking about a decimal. So there is no decimal here. I don't read this as 304. That is not what I do and is only for the decimal point. 304,000 is what I'm gonna write next. Don't forget, again, this is the thousands chunk. 
Again, I have another comma, so I'm gonna go ahead and squeeze that in right here so that I don't forget about it. My last chunk, this is going to be the millions chunk. Again, if I kept going and I had another place value in a comma, I would have the billions chunk. So I know this is the millions chunk. So again, I'm gonna do it the same way. So I'm gonna read this as 22 million. Just a reminder, because we are above 21, we are gonna hyphenate this number. So I end up with 22,304,220. So as a final review, let's list our steps for how we take a large number and put it into words. So step one is we wanna read our last three digits. And you might even think of this as reading the last two first. Remember, the next thing I did was I made sure to put a comma in if I'm gonna go into the thousands. So then I read the thousand chunk, and remember, I'm gonna read this as a three-digit number, but then tack on the word thousand afterwards. The last step is I need to put on my other comma and go to the millions chunk and so on, if I have a larger number. I hope you found this video helpful and you now have some strategies for how you write the word names for larger numbers.